and welcome to a new tutorial of Made by Seam. I made these a beautiful um, classic Aaron hair clip flowers and they're really easy to make and whenever you follow my instructions it is like easy peasy. Um, you don't have to add them to a hair clip like this. You can also use them for um, uh, sew them onto a hat or a scarf or a bag or uh, a brooch or whatever you want. Um, they're really fun to make. Uh, I made these with the classic Aaron uh, yarn from Ice Yarns. And all the details where to buy this yarn can be found into the description box and into the comment section of this video. Um, and I would really appreciate it if you order at iTunes if you would use my link because that helps me out quite a lot. Um, they're fun to make. Uh, enjoy the video. For this tutorial I'm going to use this yarn and for my Dutch tutorial I already took the label off. Um, so I'm going to show you the label here. It's the Ice Yarns, of course. Ice Yarns Classic Aaron. And this is a medium worsted weight number four. It has 100 grams per bowl and 240 meters. And it's a 100% acrylic yarn. I think this, um, the name of the color is called beige. Um, if I'm not correct, I'm going to show you right here um, the exact name of the color that I'm using right here. And um, the other color that I used in uh, to test this tutorial is, I think it's called Salmon. Beautiful. Then I'm also going to use a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. There you go. Um, a pair of scissors. A darning needle to sew in all my ends and a hair clip just one like this well you don't have to use this um, this is a six centimeter uh, hair clip uh, I love hair clips so therefore I'm going to use this one but you can also use a, a brooch uh, you know a clip for a brooch or you can sew it on on a project like for example uh, a hat or a scarf or whatever you prefer uh, but I'm going to use this little six centimeters hair clip now um, when you want to use a hair clip, a clip like this you need to be sure that your darning needle fits right through the holes on the side of the clip all right well Let's start the project. So for this classic Aaron hair clip, um, I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail end and I'm going to start off with a slip knot on my hook, just like that. And make a slip knot like you prefer to do it, okay? Then start with a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I want to make this chain into a little circle and therefore I'm going to insert my hook into the very first chain. I'm yarning over and I'm putting through both loops on my hook. So now I have a little circle. Chain one yarn over and try to fit into this circle 21 half double crochet stitches. So yarn over and I'm working over my yarn end right here. That saves a little bit of sewing. So yarn over, insert your hook into the circle, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. That is your very first half double crochet stitch. Two. Three. 
four, five. Well, we need 21. Sixteen. Uh oh. I do not have enough space in my circle. Hold your circle with your left thumb and index finger right there. Now push the stitches down, down on your circle with your other thumb and index finger. And make a little space for a couple more stitches. 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Close this round with a slip stitch on top of your very first half double crochet stitch. Grab your yarn and pull through. Now you can pull your tail end so the um, circle will be a little smaller. Okay? Start off with a chain one for your next round. Into the same stitch as where you just closed your round. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through two. Now it's called a single crochet. Chain three. Go to the next stitch, single crochet. Chain three. Next stitch, single crochet, chain three. And this is the pattern for this round, just single crochet and chain three. And use all stitches of this circle. When you are at the very end, you should have 21 of these spaces after you close the round. I'll be back when I have done 20 of these third chain three spaces. I have 20 chain three spaces and I just worked a last single crochet into my very last stitch here, then a chain three. So this will be my 21st chain space. Insert your hook in the very first single crochet, grab your yarn and pull through the loop on your hook. There you go. So now I have 21 single, uh, 21 um, chain spaces. Insert your hook into the next chain space and grab your yarn and pull through. This is where we start off uh, round number three and this is actually our very last round as well. Chain four. A chain four is in this round exactly the same as our very first triple crochet. Chain three. The chain three is for our chain three space. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but my cat is just bringing me a present, so I will have to open my door. I'll be right back. Meanwhile. Hi, Macy. Hi. We have two cats. One is called Honey. They're both girls. One is called Honey and the other one's name is Dushi. And Honey loves her little toys. Toy. This is actually one of her favorite toys. Um, 
she has quite a lot of these and they had these in um, a supermarket in the Netherlands a couple of years ago and um, I saved a lot of these and I'm so glad I did because she really really loves these yeah her favorite toys thank you girl right okay back to the tutorial so I have a chain of four and then a chain of three for the chain three space. Then yarn over twice. Go back to the chain three space of the previous round, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Chain three. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the same chain 3 space, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. Chain 3, and another triple crochet into the same chain space. I have 4 triple crochet right now. And I did a chain three after each of the triple crochets. And in total, I want to have seven triple crochets into the same chain space. One, two, three. I have one, two, three, four, five. So this is number six. A chain of three. And the last one, number seven. And chain three. Now this is what you do for every single chain space. So into the next chain space, a triple crochet and a chain three. And in total we need seven triple crochets and chain threes in between per chain three space so enjoy and as soon as i have all chain three spaces filled up with um the seven triple crochets and the chain threes between every triple crochet. I'll be right back to show you how to finish off this round. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. G three. Six. Chain three, number seven, chain three, and this was my very last chain space. Um, and then I go to the fourth chain, fourth chain of the beginning of this round. One, two, three, four. Insert your hook. Grab your yarn pull through and pull through the loop on your hook chain one and cut your yarn okay I forgot to tell you guys when you cut uh, your yarn end please be sure that your yarn end is not too short actually this one might be too short but I'll try to make it work try to find the uh, piece of yarn that you started working with at the beginning of our project. Now pull on that tail end but be sure not to snap um, the yarn. Then weave in this yarn and I try to have this little circle here as small as possible. Okay so weave it in on the back of your work here. We're going to attach the hair clip to um, the flower. 
Now, as you can see, the yarn end is on the outside of the flower. So weave in through the last stitch here with your yarn and then through the center bit of your um, flower but be sure that you have it a little on the side see like that if you're doing things well and um, then it will be sort of invisible now get your um, hair clip and you uh, need to be sure that you have a needle that fits through the holes on the side of your hair clip then place your hair clip try to find out where you want it there and then go into the first hole here just like that and sew it on through um, a stitch with a couple of stitches through the hole. Yeah. There's one. Two. I know it's hard to see, but it's hard to do this on camera. Three. There you go. Do this three or four times. Then go underneath your stitches to the other side and do the same. Okay? And this is how my hair clips uh, look like. Um, what I did and what I didn't show you in, in the video is um, I did a couple of stitches just right over the clip right here just to secure it a little better. See? That's what I did. Uh, you can modify your um, flower, you know, if, if, it, if it's like this and you don't like that, you see in the middle, then just grab a, whole, um, a loop on this side, a loop on the other side and just pull through. And you can do that a couple of times somewhere where you think that it doesn't look like you want it to. Um, well, that's basically it. I really did enjoy making these hair clips for myself. Um, but you can use them um, as you like uh, for an applique on a hat or a, a scarf. Or you might even want to add it uh, onto a bag. Um, it's completely up to you. Um, attach it to a brooch, brooch or just a hair clip like, like I did. Um, if you're going to make these classic Aeron um, hair clip flower, then uh, I would really like to see them. So um, whenever you post them on your socials, then be sure that you hashtag or add me. Um, so I can see um, your version of the flower. Um, the same with the yarn. If you want to use the same yarn, the classic Aaron of Ice Yarns, then go down to the description box or the comment uh, section of this video where I will post the link to straight to where you can buy the yarn. And I would really appreciate it if you would use my link whenever you um, buy yarn at Ice Yarns. Because that helps me out quite a lot. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, uh, hit that like button and um, the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you never ever will have to miss out on new t tutorials or unboxing videos and that I'm going to upload um, soon uh, or in the nearby future. And um, be sure that you check the title of the video because I will always um, let you know into the, in the title of the video whether it is a Dutch video or an English video. Um, 
if there is uh, a Dutch video, then soon in the future there will be a uh, English video. Um, and I, if you see a Dutch video and it is not on my um, YouTube channel yet in English, then please let me know. Um, and I will end up on, on a list of videos that I'm still doing uh, and translating or redoing in English. Um, you can also go down to the comment section where I will post um, the English version of the video uh, with a link when it is available. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye for now.